Hi, Leslie Hirschberger here talking about misidentifying threes and sevens. Been seeing a lot of this one lately. And so I want to talk a little bit about that. And the first thing to understand is the sevens are a head type and the threes are a heart type. And so for the sevens, there's going to be a lot of mental stimulation and it's going to be a lot going on in here. So that means uh, the attention goes to interesting plans, ideas, pleasure, possibilities, seeing how different things fit, uh, seeing how pieces connect. And for the threes, it's more of a straight shot to the goal. How do we get to success? Uh, what are the steps that it takes to get there? And, um, you know, what, what are the most efficient solutions? For the sevens, it's not as much about finding a, a, an efficient solution. It's about finding something stimulating, something interesting, and, 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 and a fascinating solution. And so let's include this. And how about we include this? And let's bring this in. And all of a sudden, they might be talking about you're, you're with them, uh, but you might be almost a little bit overwhelmed with information because they're jumping from here to there to the next thing. We're with the threes. There's more this sense of, okay, this is what we have to do, and this is how to get there. Now, both of them aren't always terribly detail-oriented because they're really high energy. So, so sevens, though, are, you know, skipping over the details because they're boring. And, okay, I'm not really dealing with that. In the threes, it's to get to the, to get to what's, to, to be efficient, to, to get her done. Um, so... One of the things I also look at, if you think of this head and heart piece, and one of the things I look at in a typing interview is that for sevens, I can almost, because they're head type, I can almost see that click, click, click in the head. Um, there's, there is this constant um, uh, array of ideas. And so their eyes are really alert. And a lot of times it's almost like their eyes are looking up and to the right of all of their uh, future ideas and all the things that they have going on. They can be a little bit more up here and thinking, and, you know, they're, they're, sometimes I feel like I'm not there, okay? Where with the threes, they're checking in with me a lot more. This is a heart type because remember, both of them may uh, love success, um, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment, why, but for the three, it's like I'm showing you that I'm successful. So I might be telling you a lot about, you know, and I might be, I may even try to say it humbly, you know, I might say, uh, drop the school that I went to, or that I was in Mensa, or that um, my children go to, to this school or that school, kind of dropping things to, to sh just s more status oriented. Where with the sevens, it's more about uh, the interesting things. We could talk about being funny, keeping things up, and keeping things, things stimulated. One of the things that I see sevens can do where they think they're a three is they think they're a three if they're focused on where they say, you know, I'm an image type. I care a lot what people think of me because both of these types um, need to be mirrored well and need to be seen well by other people. But for the threes, what's different is they completely identify with their role as a successful person. The sevens just want to see it because it's it's like it's it's almost like they pursue success and and because they have this they want to possess things. It's it's more sensey. I I, I want to have that because it's interesting now. Uh, you know, I, I, I want it now. And for threes, it's more that I want it because it's the, it's kind of the cool thing to have and it's the cool thing to possess. And so it's more, sevens are more sensation seekers, more stimulation seekers. You know, they're going to drop something to run and let's go do this. Well, with the threes, it's going to be like, well, we don't have time for that. We have to do this and then we have to do that. Where sevens, it's like, hey, this weekend, let's go do this, you know. Um, and I always hate giving examples like that because someone who's sitting there who's a three can say, well, I did that last week. What I'm inviting you to look at are patterns. Look at the patterns of attention. That's really important to see. Is um, you, you, you wanna see something that's a consistent pattern. So for, for if you're trying to decide which one am I, if you're three, you're always looking for efficient solutions and competitions front and center. Because remember, the Enneagram 
is looking at your motivations, why you do what you do. We're not looking at, I'm not looking at behavior. I'm, when somebody tells me, you know, I, I love to have new things, I say, why? Always want to find out why. Why is that important? For threes, it's going to be more because it's the cool thing to have. Uh, for the sevens, it's a lot more. It's this, um, you know, it's the sensation thing. And, um, you know, I'm noticing the moment I say that, there's going to be a seven sitting here going, well, I like cool things. I like to have new things. It's cool. But for threes, it's really about telling everybody that so you're seen as successful. My, there's a confusion of who I am with threes. It's a confusion of selves. You know, I am what I do. I am um, whatever the, you know, the achievement measurement stick is in my culture. You know, um, I've seen threes who've worked in social justice and, and, you know, it's not about owning the best car. In fact, it's about being the most humble. It's about, you know, um, having the, the largest uh, shoe drive and having the most successful nonprofit. And so, do you see what I mean? It's a real sense around, I am what I do, I am what I achieve. And for sevens, it's all about fascination. It's all about what's interesting and what's pleasurable. And here's one of the things I've seen too, is that with threes, you can get a sense that they're withholding something. I don't know that I've ever not experienced this with a three, particularly if they're in a group or with a person they're trying to impress. You can get a sense that's, that you're not getting the full Monty. They're not sharing all of themselves. And um, a lot of that has to do with there's a confusion. There's such an identification with what I achieve and with what I do. There's a confusion of who am I really on the inside? And um, for sevens, they're going to be much more inclined to be transparent, tell, um, you know, stories about themselves that where they look completely silly. They're more inclined to, you know, I can't believe you just said that, <laughs> where, where they overshare. That would be one of the big differences. Sevens might be more inclined to overshare. Then the threes are going to be more this kind of cool withholding um, in order to be seen as successful. Threes are less distractible when they're trying to go for the win. Um, sevens are annoyed by the clock. That's one of the things. This is really funny. A lot of times I used to do this workshop where I'd have people do collages. Every time a group of threes would get together and do a collage of their type, there would be a clock on it. Back when people had watches and clocks and this kind of thing, there's always a clock because they're always aware of the time. And for sevens, time is a limitation. Time is annoying. You know, there's places to go, people to see, and, you know, the, the sevens are going to be much more inclined to blow off the afternoon if they want to go do something pleasure-seeking. They're more aggressive about getting their needs met. So I would say when, when a three first comes to the Enneagram, temperature-wise, it's almost a cooler temperature um, than the seven. And, um, the seven, you know, you're going to see a lot more bragging uh, going on with threes than you are with sevens. Um, both of them can be condescending and superior, though. Uh, and both, both, both have gotten feedback that they feel condescending. And sevens, it's a tendency to think they know everything uh, because they read about it. They may not have digested it. They may not have had the felt experience of it. Um, but they read about it. I know about it. It's up here in my head. And so that's one of the biggest things I look for is the difference between a head type and a heart type. You can almost feel the threes getting the sense of how am I doing? You know, am I being, you know, am I successful? So play around with that and um, do your own inquiry around that if you're trying to decide which type you are. And feel free to share your comments here in the, in the comment section. Make sure you're kind. If you are in relationship with a three and a seven and you want to talk about it, make sure that you remember there's real life people reading this. And, um, you know, be, be, be aware that looking at ourselves is always take, is an act of courage. And so if you say something, um, if you have a lot, a lot of reaction towards one of them, um, be aware that that's yours. That's something that you're dealing with. Um, but I would say it's the, it's the huge difference between, you know, being... It's more about being competitive and being a winner for a three because then I'm lovable. And for sevens, it's more about escaping 
the present moment in order to experience stimulation and excitement and interesting. And um, that would be really the core differences. So thank you and uh, hit subscribe if you're interested in getting uh, notifications about these videos. Thanks.